Buongiorno from Cefalu, one of the most beautiful cities in all of Italy. We're going to go on a walking tour, take you inside the historic cathedral, show you some delicious food, and as always, so much more. Come with me. Behold the Cathedral of Cefalu, built by King Roger II, the first king of Sicily. Construction began in 1131. What's really fascinating about this cathedral, first of all, it was built like a fortress. It was the first one and probably has one of the best preserved mosaics in Sicily. Inside it was built with the craftsmanships of Arabs, the Byzantines, in conjunction with the Normans that conquered Sicily in the 11th century. Actually, King Roger II famously stood in Palermo and literally put the crown on himself and said, now I'm king. <laughs> but he was a very well-educated man. He had Arab and Greek studies, and it was very much of an inclusive period. The Arabs, Byzantines, and the Normans lived and worked side by side. Imagine that today. There he is, Christ Pantocrator. You can see his fingers are in the Byzantine style. When the Arabs worked here, the Muslims who remained in Shefalu and also Palermo, Montreal, and other areas, they weren't allowed to make symbols of Muslim. So they used different types of symbolism like infinity and other works in this church. But it is said that the best workers, the best Arab workers of the time, were brought in to create these beautiful mosaics. This beautiful limestone structure is still, to this day, used for baptisms. Arguably, this is the most beautiful rendition of Christ Pantocrator in all of Sicily. See how his fingers have the three and the two? The three fingers for the Trinity and the two representing the double nature human and divine. Now here's another interesting thing that I just learned about the symbol of the number eight, because that's how the Greeks counted. This is also the symbol of the number eight, because the Greeks counted like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the symbol of the number eight. Now, the Bible up there is always in two languages, Latin and Greek. Of course, King Roger was educated in all those languages, including Arabic. And here's the Molu. Here we are, end of September, and people are still swimming. Never gets old. Here we are at the Molu, where Cinema Paradiso was filmed, as you can tell why. And I keep saying this to you, and I'm going to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. This never gets old. And over here we have the Tyranian Sea, of course, by us in Catania on the east and south coast east and north coast, as well as the Ionian Sea. Just a perfect spot. It's about 6 p.m. right before sunset in late October. And look at the lighting here. And look at this scene at 7 p.m. The sun has set here in Chefalu.
five minutes later. I'm telling you, you can't really capture this on video. It's so much more spectacular in person. And look at the view of the Molu from the beautiful, famous arch. It's 7 p.m. Can you make out that cross over there? Oh, yeah, look at that, eh? The scene here at night just changes completely. Shuffalu lit up is definitely a must see. Right along the main road is this medieval wash house. Pretty remarkable and a must see here in Shuffalu. Was used up until the 20th century. The women would wash their clothes here and the natural waters that flowed down here came from the river Ceparino flowing into the ocean. So can you imagine the women would kneel right here and wash their clothes while singing Sicilian songs. Look at this beautiful shop. It's called Trinacria. This is where we're having dinner. And a dizzying amount of things to see and buy. Look at this humongous bottle of wine. And here's the owner. Saluta tutti. Ciao. Salvatore, he's been cooking here. Da quante anni? Qui? Twenty? Twenty-one, fourteen of September. Oh, oh. Eh, primo che sta facendo? Twenty-one years. Ah, abbiamo abbiamo fatto grande festa. Big. Twenty-one years. E quando iniziare a fare cucinare? Dieci, dodici anni più o meno. Perché nasce come prodotti tipici di noteca. Sì, it it was born like an noteca, and they have all types of typical. Items here, people love the torrone, morbido, and the chocolate. Beautiful. Now, this is beautiful. This is the cellar, La Cantina. You know, everything at this restaurant is fresh because it's coming right from here into the kitchen. Prodotto tipici. La Trinacria, highly, highly recommended. Right by the Faro. Iniziamo. Iniziamo. Now that looks good. And look at the view we have. Uh, we have the caponata. Sì. Caccio cavallo, sì. primo sale al tartufo, salame piccante e capocollo. And look at this. Ingrediente di questa caponata. Mm -hmm. Sedano, capperi, pomodoro, olio. Olio. <laughs> This is beautiful. Maybe I'll get like a... Alla messina, sì. Capone alla messina. Lambuga in italiano. Lambuga. E olive, lambuga, non sambuga. Mm -hmm. E olive, capperi, pomodorino. Uh, e prezzemolo. E aglio. That. Oh, wow. Ok. That looks amazing. Un po' di uva la gradina. I gotta tell you guys the funniest thing. Just ran into two you, me and Sicily fans here in Shuffalu and had a nice picture with them. One of them is celebrating their 80th birthday. How cool is that? And she said, one of them said, when you guys come on, we call you Archie and Ethel because we can't remember your names fast enough. Isn't that perfect? Alfred, you're Archie and I'm Ethel. <laughs> anyway, I want to ask you guys something. Some say Shuffalu is the third most visited city in Sicily after Palermo and Tarmina, of course. What do you guys think? Which ones are your favorites? Curious to know. The Greeks called Shuffalu Cafelodium, meaning head, because of this beautiful rock that they saw when approaching 
the area. Capelodium, the ancient name of Chapalou. It's a beautiful location because it's only an hour from Palermo, also close to many of the beautiful attractions. A great place to situate yourself if you're thinking of visiting the north and west coast of Sicily. Sounds like someone's practicing their instrument. The really great thing about the Lungamare is that right across from it are a bunch of restaurants. From every angle, La Roca is quite impressive. This is so typical of Chefalou, the clothes hanging from the balconies in these beautiful little alleyways. Chefalou is one of the most visited towns in Sicily. Obviously, after Palermo and Tarmina, and you can see it's packed here. Corso Ruggiero. This is a great square to get something to drink, to get something to eat. People watch. Chefalu is the biggest town in the Madonia Park over here in the province of Palermo. Great ceramic store right here. La 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 la. You can go from up top to down here. It's always something cool to see. I love these signs. Chita di Chapalu. The imposing La Roca. There's the Faro, the lighthouse. Of course, my favorite thing to do is go see all the local produce. And here in Chefalou, we've got the mushrooms, the olives, the prickly pears, and look at these 
cauliflowers, chestnuts. Cauliflowers here are green. Over by us, of course, they're purple. And let's see, what else do they have? Caroselli. Like a cucumber. Cetrioli. Broccoli, cetrioli, e poi questa? Questi sono broccoletti. E questa? Cicoria. Questa è cicoria. Cicoria, questi sono? Tenerumi. No. No. Cavolicelli. Cavolicelli, una cosa verde. Questa è fagiola, queste si chiamano taccole. Taccole. Poi questa è scarola. Scarola buono. E questa? Quella è bieta. And that's what the prickly pears look like when they're clean. Buongiorno a tutti. Buongiorno. Medica. Questi sono i fioroni, questi qua. Non sono passati più. And here they have the vino, the locale, and some breads. Signora, e olive. No, no, vi posso fare vedere una cosa che magari là non una cosa particolare per ciappalù e, e poi castagne secche castagne secche da dove? chiamate per chi è che è siciliano cruzzitedde cruzzitedde in siciliano <ride> brava origano origano e poi abbiamo allora queste che ti faccio vedere cosa sono she's so excited to show me all this stuff ti porta in America? Sì. Ah. Queste sono arachidi pralinate. Wow, peanuts. Mangiale. Peanuts, but they have a little bit of sugar on them or something. Crocante. <laughs> Buono. Buonissima, vedi? Buono. This is the symbol of Chefalu with the three fish yeah. and bread in the yeah. middle. And what's the symbol? And so it represents uh, Cefalu because it's a fisher town and the three fishes are always uh, on the number three also representing uh, and symbolic for, for uh, uh, the Trinity, so it's a religious element. Whenever I come to Cefalu I have to stop here at La Coppola. Direct orders by Alfred to buy him a hat. Actually last time I was there in December with Dr. Rosemary and her husband, Doug. I have a beautiful yellow hat. This, by the way, is Agostino. He's the proprietario. Ciao. Da quanti anni sta facendo questa? No, la famiglia, la mia famiglia da vent'anni. Vent'anni. Ti ripeto? Le coppole sono è obbligatorio farle a mano perché non si possono fare in automatico. Certo, certo. È normale. These are so beautiful. Can you see the Ionian Islands over there? Did one on Salina. It's beautiful. You take the ferry from Milazzo. I wish you guys could smell this cheese right here. But we stopped to buy a digestive amara. Here we are, mid-October, and look at the scene here. Carponi, carponi, vero? Scarpone locale. In italiano? Lampuga. Adesso. Here's the fritta, salata, panelle. Oh, look at this fish. What is it called? Come si chiama questo pesce? Lupano. Lupano. Listen to the sounds of those waves. 
Antonio da Chafalu. Un saluto a tutti. A tutti. Saluta a tutti. Ciao. 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 Saluti da Chafalu e dal Dejavio. Thank you so much for watching this video of you, me, and Sicily. And if you've enjoyed it, we have many more on Chefalu and the area. So subscribe to this channel for more videos from and about Sicily. Ciao. A benedica.